Hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. Yeah, it's my last day of vacation. Actually, let, let me start. It's my last day of vacation. No! <laughs> okay. That'll work. For the opening. Ah, water in my eyes. No oh, hot. Huh. Huh. Ugh. Let me get up out of the water. Ugh. There we go. And my towel is a bit of a ways from where I am right now. Okay. Let me uh move this over here real quick. Put you down here. There we go. There, you got the my towel and get dried off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that feels much better. So let's see, what is my low? Outside of the obvious that today is my last day of vacation. Well, actually it rained a lot yesterday, which you wouldn't really, you couldn't tell based on the fact it's about as clear blue of a sky as you could hope for on a day like today. Seriously, today's supposed to be like 90. Isn't that cool? Like, yeah, I'll, I'll take that all day long. So it's supposed to be like 90 degrees out today and it's supposed to be um, uh, like obviously about as sunny as this, but last night it was like anything but. Like we went to church at 5.30 last night in Penn Yan and all of a sudden we just hear like rain and like everywhere and here's the thing we were actually sitting relatively close to the window right and it actually got so windy that i could actually feel the rain hit behind me from like out from outside to inside crazy right so that happened but other but you know my high and active but my high was you know it was a very lovely evening you know we went to went to the antique inn for dinner went to um Seneca Farms for dessert. Wearing my green dress right now. There we go. Um, so that was a nice evening. And uh, no kidding, um, our next door neighbors were like having a lot of fun, like picking songs from like high school, or whatever. So, like, they offered me to hang for a little bit, and you know, I did, and it was nice. It was I'm very thankful for that. And let's do a lot. I picked a, a couple good songs. Pretty much a Hey Ya from Outkast and uh, I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett. Seriously, like my my taste in music is actually quite vast when when I think about it. And um, my act of kindness. Here's the thing, like normally I do such a good job wiring the flowers, but I tried doing that this morning, but I didn't really have to because it rained yesterday. So I wound up doing that for nothing. So, yeah, this is my final day of vacation, which is really sad because I mentioned this yesterday. I have family coming in from uh, Ohio and they are starting their week of vacation up here this week. I'm like, oh, we missed them by like, like, again, we got to we got we got to work on our timing. My family legit needs to work on our timing. Speaking of vacations, when we were at uh, dinner last night, and I may have talked about this before, but we were talking about, you know, whenever my mom's side of the family gets together for a week, and on the off chance we don't want to go to Cuca Lake, there's obviously other things we would consider doing. My idea, and this is based on the fact that only I have ever really done this, well, part of it because my family my my folks my brother and I we've been to Cedar Point before but when I was a senior in high school our choir trip we went to a Cedar Point but on the way up there we stopped at the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum in Cleveland so uh, for those playing at home yes I have been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum in Cleveland there's a reason why it's called now you know where Cle now, now you know where the term Cleveland rocks comes from because, yeah, Cleveland, 
Cleveland Racks. It, it does. Um, <laughs> where was I? So, after we go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum, there's just like one really huge uh, hotel with like the largest indoor water park in the nation. And like we spent the night there and then the next day we went to Cedar Point. Like that would be a really cool idea. I mean, last time we went to Cedar Point, we actually went to the hotel that's like right next to the park. And if you stay at that hotel, you get to go into Cedar Point and ride rides for like an hour and a half before it's technically supposed to open. So that was a fun day. I mean, I don't know what we would wind up doing, but it'd be fun. It'd definitely be, it'd be a unique experience for my family to try. Problem is though, how would we go about getting there? Would we come up here to upstate New York and then drive six hours to get to, um, to get to, uh, to Ohio? Or would we just like all fly there or whatever? I don't know, it'd be, it'd, it'd be something we had to play by ear. Personally, if we do drive, okay, I never did share this part of the story, but um, obviously when you're on a school trip, you get to go, you know, and you're on like a coach bus, you know, with the bathroom in the back and everything, you get to watch like a movie on the way up, right? And like, I tried to sort of soften the blow a little bit by bringing Juno. If you don't know what Juno is, Juno is a great movie back when this is back when Ellen Page was before Elliot Page. Yeah, this was this is a long time ago. All right, we'd also like to make the argument that Juno kicked off that whole craze where you were glorifying the whole team mom concept, which I'm not entirely sure if that's a good thing. But hey, Juno was still a great movie. So we watched that, and someone wanted to watch Phantom of the Opera, the Gerard Butler movie. Yeah, um, I felt every minute of that bus ride after we started that movie. I'm like, oh God, can this, can this movie end please? Or like, cause if you don't know the controversy behind uh, the Family Opera movie, like they got Gerard Butler because this was shortly like around the time he was filming uh, 300. Or maybe it was before 300. Somewhere along that line. Like, they saw how great of an actor he was. And, yes, Gerard Butler is a great actor. Singing. I, uh... Technically, I've heard worse. But, holy cow, was that... I didn't need to hear that. I mean... The lead they got, the, the female lead was hot. She was, she, she, she's, she's good. I forget who she is, but she, she was good. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a long trip to be sure. Um, let's see what wound up happening. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Uh, why am I talking about, I should be, why am I talking about vacation on my last day of vacation? I should be talking about my, the end of my vacation. All in all, this was a really good week. It was. I mean, I mentioned yesterday how I went in this week kind of lowering my expectations just simply because, you know, this was like the first week off I've had up here in probably ever where I was not graced by my mother's side of the family, people from Colorado and, uh, people from Reading, Massachusetts, and people from uh, Wellesley, Massachusetts. So, yeah, it's, it, it was kind of hard. It was. And, you know, I, of course, I think about them often. I, I miss them every day. And, you know, obviously, the, they're, they're all a phone call away. I'm aware of that. And, I don't know, I just didn't, I guess that's one of the reasons why I think we sort of take family for granted a bit. You know what I mean? Like, you know they're there, and you know that by all accounts they're the stones throw away, or a phone call away, or a hop, skip, and a jump away. But you tend to forget the, those things because life gets so hectic and busy, and you know stuff comes up out of the blue that you never expect, or the plans we make completely go awry, and you have to adjust and make sacrifices. It's hard. It is. 
But in spite of what happened, you know, I made it work. Okay, so here's the thing, though. Um, my mom has been really busy taking care of my nephews all week, so she really hadn't had much of an opportunity to be up here. Last night, I, I introduced my mom to Virgin River. She loves it. I mean, I'm already in season four right now. She's, like, in the middle of season season one. But I think... Because I went to bed, like, shortly after midnight because she wanted to watch more of it. And, like, she just wanted to keep watching it, like, until, like, one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, okay. That, uh... Well, I'm glad I got my mom's new favorite show out now. I mean, I saw, I haven't finished season four yet. I'm sort of... I mean, here's the thing. I didn't quite think I would get to the end of Virgin River where it left off as, um... Because, like, from what I hear, they're filming season five right now. And, obviously, I'm on season four. I don't know if I'm in a hurry to finish season four. I mean, I should. But from what I hear, it's going to be like a year or something until Virgin River comes, season five comes out. And if I go, f and like the long, and the longer it takes for me to finish season four, the less time I would technically have to ride out until that next season comes out. You know, I guess I'm trying to not procrastinate, but. I can't think of a I, I I can't think of a better word. Stall, I guess. Actually I don't think that's a better word either. Yeah. I don't know. Um I mentioned family from Ohio is here. They're coming up later today at like one o'clock. You know, we're just sort of getting everything ready to go, getting ready to enjoy our day and stuff like that. I'm sure we'll relax for a little while longer until um until they arrive. I mean, it's just, um, it's like right around, it's, if it's not nine o'clock, I forget what time it is. I really don't know what the time is right now. I think it's like almost nine or something. Like if it's not nine o'clock right now, it's about to be. So I got to kill four hours essentially. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. I mean, I could probably watch more Virgin River, I suppose. Maybe I'll go get myself... So, oh, I mean, my mom is making pancakes and bacon, which, I mean, it's pancakes and bacon. That's awesome, but I don't know. I'm just sort of playing it out by ear, I guess. Maybe, uh... I mean, if, I, if I'm, like, desperate or something, maybe I'll get myself something to eat. I don't know. It's going to be... Again, we... We have all day to worry about doing stuff. I, mean, I got my, my grandparents are coming up. And then my cousin is bringing them up. Apparently, we're having food from Sorge's for dinner, which... It's been a good while since I've had Sorge's food. So, I'm more than willing to have that for dinner. Usually, whenever we get Sorge's food, it's usually like lasagna, maybe. So, yeah. Yeah, see, I've had lasagna before that's not something that my mom made. It's just... Seriously, I never go out of my way to look for lasagna whenever we go out. I mean, if you see my social media and you see all the pictures I take, you know, there's a reason why you see a bunch of steaks. <laughs> because, again, you know, steak trumps all. You know, a good steak trumps, you know, really good lasagna or pasta. Now, if you have pasta on the side, that's that's okay. We, we, we like that. We like that option very much. Um, hmm. So, I guess all that's left to do now is enjoy my last day of vacation up here. I mean, my family's still going to be coming up on weekends. It's just this is the first, like, full week off I've had in, you know, a long time. And, you know, if it's during the summer, I can never really think of a better place to spend it. You know, I'd rather it be, you know, up here. I mean, maybe if I get big and rich and famous, maybe I would, like, do, like, other places. Like, <laughs> and, yeah, if I was big and rich and famous, every day would be, like, vacation for me. You know what I mean? Because I could afford everything. <laughs> I don't know. I tell myself that if that ever did happen, I would try my best to keep myself grounded. So, 
even if I had the option, not entirely sure if I would actually go through with it. Especially if I had to choose between anywhere else and here. I'd probably choose here. Yeah. It's good. You know, it's, it's a, actually by all accounts, it's a pretty, one of the bigger Finger Lakes, but still small and compared to, you know, Cayuga and Zeneca. So it's a little lake. And because it's shaped like the letter Y, you would almost make the argument that it's broken, but still good. Yeah, still good. And yes, I did in fact just quote Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> but you know, on, on this nice bright day, you got family coming up. This would be a nice way to sort of end vacation. Yo, know, pack my things, get ready to go home. Yeah. And you know, still gonna do this. <laughs> uh, I can't see right now because seriously, that sun really is bright. So I hope y'all like this video and I hope y'all enjoy the videos I have of me being up here all week. You know, if you did, you know, please leave a like and you know, subscribe to my channel and do my channel, YouTube channel greatly. I mean, I gotta get monetization somehow, you know. As always, I am very humble to me this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for your day. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to London. I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.